I've had enough. I don't wanna feel the stuck under the rug. All my problems that I shove. I got nightmares in my head. I feel. That's not good. What the fuck? So today we're gonna swap out the rear wheel bearing. I went and picked it up. Here's the part number. So on Z's, the front wheel bearing is pretty simple to replace. It's a one-piece wheel bearing, but on the rear, they are a two-piece wheel bearing. You have to press the actual, the hub itself onto the bearing. And it's not really a thing that most people do by themselves. They normally take it to a shop or have a press. So I do have a method of doing it uh, without a press. So we're gonna try that. Unfortunately, we have to go old school today because my compressor took a shit and does not work anymore. She's thick! Not too much work. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely had some camper going on. He's still got the nipples on this side. And then it's smooth over here. A lot of tire. <laughs> oh my God, look at the whole rotors. French have a fancy word for this called fucked. Hope the rotor isn't warped. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take the caliper off and the rotor. There's two 19 millimeter bolts in the back. So when your wheel bearing gets as bad as mine is, as you can see, it starts to wear on your rotor because as the bearing worn out, it will actually move the rotor back and forth. and will cause excess wear on your brake pads. So it's always good to double check those. Mine happen to be okay, but if it was much worse than this, then I'd be replacing the brake pads and possibly the rotor. That is bad. Next we need to pull this carter pin out so we can get the nut for the CV axle and then we should be able to pull the hub out. Once you get the carter pin on, you take a 32 millimeter socket and an impact. Take this guy, holy shit, it's loose. I almost died. It's oh my God, I almost died. That's <laughs> Shinearmor.com, 20% off if you use code IMPORTLOGIC. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, I only sponsor things that I actually enjoy using. It works good. So uh, for 20% off on anything Shine Armor, go to Shinearmor.com. I think it's Import Logic. I'll put it here somewhere. Um, mm. All right, next we need to get under the car. Obviously, I have a couple extra uh, alternators in the back. Nice. Disregard that. We need to disconnect the CV shaft from the differential. That way we can pull it back and get to uh, a couple of bolts that are back here that will release the wheel bearing. He's talking about a lug. Wait, he, he, he. Once you get your CV unbolted and hanging down, get a punch and a hammer and then punch the CV shaft through the back. <clears throat> oh, damn. Look how it was wearing on there. I hope that the hub is okay. Hopefully. So when I set this down, I picked it up and it's literally in two pieces. So <laughs> made my job a little bit easier. We need to press off this ring. I was, I was in the third or fourth grade when the uh, first uh, 
Did you throw it out one? Did you say up a fast car on all of it? Oh, I got it! I want to see a straight out between Melty after he did his boosted and his at 100%. All right, here's the point where we're gonna try and do this without a press. I got some wheel bearing grease, lubed it up on both sides. I may take the map gas and try and heat this surface up, but essentially I'm gonna put it on there with a socket and hit the shit out, hit the shit out of it with a hammer. Make sure the socket you choose fits perfectly on the inner race and doesn't end up being out on this outer race or out here you'll tear up the bearing. I can tell too. It's probably brighter, yeah. Well, it's like a week later and the weather is absolute shit. <laughs> it's cold and wet, but we're gonna finish this thing. So I believe the last thing we did was disconnect the drive shaft and get that bearing swapped over. So now it's time to get the drive shaft or the CV shaft back, uh, back in place and hooked up and get the brake caliper back on the rotor and we should be good to go. We can't forget to get our little cotter pen back in so we don't have that bolt break loose. Don't forget that. Now it's time for the caliper to go back on. Then get your 19 millimeter bolts, run them in the back. And that's how you change your wheel bearing on a 350Z. So it is possible to do this without a press. And I've done it multiple times like that. It's just kind of a pain in the ass. Um, it takes a lot more time. If you have access to a press, I would definitely try and do that. I don't take any blame if you guys screw up your wheel bearing because it's possible with the chisel and the hammer. Just go slow, use heat a little bit at a time, but it can be done. So hopefully that saves somebody some time. That's it for today. Subscribe if you like these videos and I'll see y'all next time.